What are you doing over there? You're breathing so heavily into the mic. Am I? Welcome, everybody, to our second ever Rewind, right? Yeah. Yeah. The first one was Ex Machina. Ex, Ex Machina, yeah, in preparation for Annihilation. Uh, this week, Halloween is coming out, the semi-reboot, semi-sequel to the 1978 classic, so that's what we will be reviewing today. I'm your host, Keegan Holland, and with me is Mike Jennison. Co-host. Co-host. <laughs> that's true, I forgot that part. Um, it's all right. People know. So initially, I had, I had purchased a five dollar and fifty cent white wine from Shell, but uh, I left it back in Columbus. So instead, my mother gave me the original Dark Horse Big Red Blend. Red. I, I got the white for the for the mask, but red for the blood also seems fitting. She's done a rosé, a little mix of the two. But this is a bold wine with big personality. This big red. Big Red Blend is powered by deep flavors of dark berry and black currant with plush tannins, hints of dark roasted oak, and an impressive long finish. All I have to say is thank God you were the back of that wine bottle, because if I did... Yeah, a lot of words, I'm not sure what they mean. <laughs> so, there you go. I don't Cheers, know. Mike. Cheers. Cheers, mate. I did get into the, uh, the 550 white wine. Damn good. Dude, cheap wine's fine. Yeah, cheap wine is fine. It's the cheapest drunk. It's the worst hangover. I felt miserable the next day. It is a terrible hangover. My question is, so you got into the white wine, but what, you rebottled, you recapped it or something? Re-bottled. Oh, it's screw off. <sighs> oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Just the finest. Yeah. No, I picked it up on the way back from a movie, and I was like, I'm going to grab the cheapest thing. You know, uh, yeah, a bottle of wine is a great pregame. Yes, it is. Yes, I actually had some wine last night, and it was also very cheap. And How do you feel gas about station. this wine? Which I don't know what the price is. Probably also pretty cheap, but it is corked. So it has a cork. That's that's how you know you're high class. Um, I it's fine. It tastes very much like a cheap bottle of red wine. Yeah, it's more watery than I. I would definitely it would buy this again. Yeah, I like it. I'd crush a full bottle of this. <laughs> but I guess we'll get into it more once you once you kill it off. Before we get into the movie, I just wanted to ask, what is your experience with John Carpenter? Any? This is my first John Carpenter really? movie. Okay, yeah, I had only seen. Big Trouble in Little China, which I loved. Oh, that's John Carpenter. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't seen it. Chewing up every scene he's in, he's amazing in that movie. Um, but yeah, yeah, this is only my second movie. And w- what do you think? Not my genre horror. Right. I thought it was very much fine. You can tell how impactful this movie was because I feel like I saw this movie twelve times. Right. Yeah. In my life. Mm. The score. You see is... clips of it everywhere. You do. Yeah. The score is incredible. And it is John Carpenter, too, yeah. Yeah. That song is so good. Yeah. And it gets me every time. Yeah. Totally makes the movie. Uh, initial thoughts, I, I was... We're going to spoil this. This movie's 40 years old. Oh, we can spoil everything. Initial fa- thoughts, I was a little disappointed. Okay. How about that? All right, no, that's fine. But, I mean... It's tough for... I think horror, as a whole, is the hardest genre to hold up. Because what's scary in, ni- in 1970 is not scary three years later. Oh, no. So, I loved it. I, I had never seen... I would seen Jamie Lee Curtis in, like, Freaky Friday, and, like, that's it. She is, like, captivating in this movie. I think she's awesome. She is awesome in this movie. It was weird seeing her young. I know. But she still almost seemed old. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I've only known her as an old woman with short hair. It's funny, though, because, like, she's in a movie... This is going to sound creepy. Where, like, people growing up that saw this movie, like, would freeze it when she's naked. And, like, that was their... <laughs> they're getting into adulthood but was this movie and Jamie Lee Curtis their sexual awakening yeah I was like Jamie Lee Curtis that old lady she's hot <laughs> she's a good looking lady but yeah no, she is she, she, I think she's the best part of this movie she's really good so it's, much unnecessary nudity in this movie oh I know it's classic like, every girl gets naked right before she dies yeah like Scream like now this made Scream 45 times better in my head too because mm-hmm. it just makes fun of this movie that makes fun of this movie but yeah uses the tropes from old horror movies so well mm-hmm. I think this movie is so solid all the way through it's not like actually scary but there's some amazing shots where Michael's just like kind of in the picture but you can't really see him and then especially um, at the end when he's like in a closet and it's pitch black and he just slowly moves and his face slowly gets revealed behind her I thought that shot was awesome but my biggest issue with the movie is the ending it's just dumb choice by Jamie Lee Curtis after dumb choice and she makes like she stabs him in the neck, and then leaves the knife with him and, go, and runs upstairs. Stab him in the head ten times. Cut his head doing? off. Cut his head off. Yeah. <laughs> and, and then it happens t- 
two more times. In the closet, it happens again, and then, I guess in the hallway, then the guy takes over. But I'm just like, this should have ended so long ago. Yeah. But the build-up to it, it, I thought was awesome. Like, I, I would definitely watch this every Halloween premiere. I can, I can see this becoming a tradition for me. It's like... 85 minutes, super short. Super short. It's yeah. moved, went by really, really quick. Mm-hmm. The first scene was really good, too. Yeah. How the killing was... I didn't know it was going to be the boy. I didn't know any of this uh, promise. Really? Whatsoever. See, I knew, I knew it was going to be Michael. But what I don't get, and I'm sure this is later explained in, in the future movies, why is he after... Jamie Lee Curtis? Jamie Lee Curtis? Why? I have no idea. I, I mean, think they're cousins or they're related somehow. Oh really? I, I don't think. Is it ever said in this? I don't think it is. I did. I had no idea. Yeah. So when she weird. drops the keys off to his house, but she probably already wants. To, he probably already wants to kill her at that point, right? It seems like he's coming back to kill her, yeah. and I don't know why that is. Is there a second one? Yeah. There's like 97. I know, but there's, like, bunch, but there's one with Jimmy Curtis. I think there's two more with her. There's two more with her. Yeah. I'm, I think it's changed to why he wants to kill her, but it's not explained in this movie. It just seems so weird. Why her? I know. And and he kills three, three other or people. four of her four of her friends. Well, two of the girls, the girl's boyfriend. My dog's walking upstairs. Brutal. And then that was spooky. How he put the bodies everywhere. It was kind of comical though, because like, like I get the girl with the here lies Judith Myers, and she's like strapped to the bed. I get that one. But then, I guess maybe his momentum in the closet is what opens the door. But then the girl in like the smaller closet that just the door just shoots open. Why did that shoot open? That's true. That was dumb. I was <laughs> laughing at that point. Yeah, the ending I think is not good at all. So you don't like the closet there, scene? The closet scene's really good. I think. When he's breaking down the closet. Yeah. yeah, that part's okay. I think there's good shots in it when he's like behind her in the darkness because there's a couple of them. Do you think you need him to get shot in the head like twelve times like that? And then disappear yeah. later. Do they really need to make him like almost supernatural? Well, he is now. But I don't know why. See, this movie, it, it, it does holes. stand alone. Like, it, it, you don't need to watch anything else. Yeah. But like, I'm sure that in the sequels they do a lot of explaining of why he's going after her, why he's supernatural, and it, yeah, just there's plot holes galore in this. So many. And like, how does he break out of the of the institution? Yeah, they're, they're just like walking around. And he hops in the car. Yeah. It's like I don't know. That was that was strange. Yeah. But it was spooky. It was spooky. But I never felt scared. No, I was never like, scared during this movie. I never had to see it. I was, I, it was more of a, let's go, Michael. Let's kill some people. <laughs> I was kind of kind of pulling for him. I actually did like the the friends, though. Did you like them? Because I thought I was going to hate the one, the one that's the other one that's babysitting, because she's kind of a bitch to start the movie. I didn't necessarily love the friends. Were you supposed to be rooting for them? Because I really wasn't. I don't know. Well, I was rooting for them to die, but I wasn't like... I didn't hate when they were on screen. I wasn't yeah. like, go back to Jamie Lee Curtis. I think the only likable person was Jamie Lee Curtis. For me, it was almost like, go back to her. Okay. Well, I mean, I was kind of, because I just liked her a lot in the role. But, but like, the, I didn't like the... The guy was so douchey, which was awesome. The boyfriend? Yeah. Yeah, he was such a douche. I didn't like her. I did like the other babysitter one. What was the other one? She was the one that was really mean to her to start. Okay. But then, yeah. Yeah. Is this like the original virgin girl escapes at the end? Or is that like going back to the 40s where it's... I don't know. Like the, the Creature of the Black Lagoon. I almost want to say it was this, but it probably wasn't. But this just seems so like I saw this movie I think modern times. things rip off this most of any other movie. Yeah. Oh, I hated the kid. Which kid? The two kids? No, the one, the one that she's... Jamie Lee Curtis is babysitting. Oh. The, the boy? The boy. The boy. Yeah. I thought the kids were fine. I didn't like him. He, he annoyed me a lot. But they weren't really in it enough that much. But he kind of gets shoehorned in there every once in a while. I kind of want the kids to die. Wow. <laughs> wow. I was just, I don't know. I was okay with Carnage. As what you would call it. As Woody Harrelson. As Woody Harrelson. Put it. <laughs> it's time for, for Carnage. Carnage. I like the the main, the, the counselor guy that just wanted that dude in the grave. <laughs> and he was just so upset that he got out. Oh, the I guy that shoots him eventually? Yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of I his... I kind of forgot he was in the movie. Right. Though. And when they cut back, I'm like, oh yeah, he's still doing it. Because a lot of his his role is just wandering. Mm. But I did like how he was... He's, every time you see him, he builds up Michael more and more to like how much of a crazy person he is. But yeah, he that, had very little to do other than that. He used to walk around the neighborhood and stumble upon the car. <laughs> so does it... It doesn't end at the Myers house, does it? No. Okay, because the dude at one point says... He'll be back here. He never goes back, though. They never go back to the house. No. It ends at her house, right? Because the two yeah, kids that's what are I in, the, yeah. in the room still. Yeah. Yeah. The biggest thing, though, is why is he after her? And I don't know. Yeah. 
And I should have looked into that. I might look it up right now. So in the last scene, he gets shot. He falls down the balcony, laying on the ground. And then you don't see the... You, you see the body, and then they go back and it's not there. And then the score starts playing, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's it. Uh, I love... I mean, the score came. It was awesome. Right. I mean, it doesn't make any sense that... It, it's always... You look out, you kind of see him. Then you, like, you look at me, then he's there. You look back one more time, and then he's gone. <laughs> and you're just like, how is this man a mile away in no time? But yeah, I guess that adds to the supernatural part of it. But like, again, why? He was just a kid. I know. Possessed. Maybe. It auto auto corrected to why does Michael Myers want to kill Lore? Mm, nice. His ultimate goal is to kill off his remaining remaining family members. When he was a little kid, he killed Judith, which we saw. He also attempted to kill Jamie Lloyd and Laurie Strode, who were also related to him. Oh, but that's just never stated. And also, why does he want to kill his family? Oh, but maybe it is because remember they, she has the keys to the house. I thought his dad was selling the house just because he was a real estate guy. So did I. But maybe it's actually in the family. She also calls it the Myers house. Yeah. She doesn't say, like, my cousin's house. No. I think that was added later. Definitely. Fuck so it. does this make you want to watch, like, other horror movies from this time period, too? Other horror movies? I want to see Nightmare on Elm Street, Freddy Krueger. Never Kruger. seen the original one? Never seen the original one. I want to see that Never one. Buy. But I don't want to see, like, like Friday the 13th. Doesn't interest me at all. And I don't really want to see the other, like, I don't want to see Halloween 2 or H2 or any of that either. But I am more excited to see the newest one. Which comes out next week. Yeah. I am. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And I think this will I'll understand the movie more now that we saw this one. Because hmm. I'm sure it probably does, there will probably be something in the beginning that, like, recaps it, but... It's just the direct off of one, right? I think off the second one. The second one's amazing. I see two. Uh, is it on Shudder? What did you think of Shudder? Have you looked around? I didn't really look around, no. I just went There's right down. Like, every Hitchcock movie's on Shudder. Really? Yeah. And it's four, four bucks, bucks a, month. a month. Yeah. People are sleeping on Shudder. <laughs> I wonder if Shudder has a big audience. I don't know. But, it, like, a lot of people love horror movies. Yeah. You should get Shudder. You definitely should, yeah. That's smart. This is, this is a smart... Playing to your movie. audience? Yeah. Yeah. Instead of just... Because, like, it's going to be so hard for you to take in, like, customers in the streaming service. Yeah. But Shudder just had that niche horror. Mm-hmm. It works. How, how many times do you want to watch a horror movie that isn't in October, though? I guess we watch Hereditary in May, right? I mean, there's people out there that just love horror movies. Yeah, I guess it, I guess there are horror movies in like like the Conjuring movies come out in like June. Yeah, I guess it kind of is a year-round thing now. Yeah, yeah, get Shutter. You want to score the movie? I will give this movie a seven and a half. Well, that's how that's hard going to go. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah I'm gonna give it an eight. Okay. Uh, yeah, I could. I would. I'm gonna watch this movie again for sure. I don't um, want to poop on this movie. No, but I mean, because like, I had zero. Other than why is he going after Lori, I had zero complaints with the movie up until the ending. Then I'm like, oh, Lori, you just turned into an absolute moron when you weren't one until now. So that was a shame. Did this movie ever make you, like, guess anything? Like, oh, I didn't see that coming. Because for me, it was just like, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, this yeah, plays yeah. out exactly as you think. If you At the 30-minute mark, you go, okay, Mike, here's a little questionnaire. I think we got everything right. Yeah. You knew both of the friends were getting naked and dying. You knew the boyfriend was going to die. I loved how he comes back in the in the sheet. Yeah, yeah, That yeah, part yeah, was yeah. sick. Ooh, that was all really good. I mean, like, that, that was my favorite death, too. He uses the telephone cord. Oh, the yeah. Strangler. Yeah. Also, her dying noises were also her sex noises. Yeah. I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. I think it was supposed to be like that, right, though? So that's why Lori wouldn't yeah. tell. She, she thought... Like, oh, they, being, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. But that was just odd. I was like, that would, that would, just would never happen. Not even close. But yeah, that was a good death. That was my favorite death. What mm-hmm. was your favorite death? Probably that one. How did the f- other babysitter die? Oh, strangled, right? Doesn't he pick her up and strangle her? No, he, the guy gets strangled against him. Oh, the that made no sense. But he, put, he puts the knife in and he stays up there? Yeah. I wish he would have put the knife in the upside down and he, and he just gets cut as he drops Ooh. down. That would have been sick. But it's 1978. They probably couldn't do that. Couldn't do that. No. Does this make you want to watch more John Carpenter? I saw The Fog was on there, and me and Keegan saw a trailer for The Fog before. Between uh, midnight and, and 1 a.m. Here comes... The fog. Yeah, that was the worst trailer I've ever seen. That lo- that movie looks like a lot of fun. It's probably a lot of fun, but it, I mean, it looks terrible. Oh, it looks terrible. It looks like a lot of fun. Yeah, I don't want to watch it. I want to watch the thing, which is featured in the movie, the, the the original the thing, and then he remade it two years later, I think, after Halloween. That's with Kurt Russell. I want to watch Escape from New York. And there's a couple of John Carpenters I want to get to, and maybe if they're on Shutter, I will. Who knows? Look at Shutter. I will. All right, thanks for listening, guys. Uh, I think the next one will be. So Glass comes out in a couple weeks, and that has I seen Unbreakable, it. which you haven't seen, movies. and Split, which you haven't seen. I haven't seen Split either, so we might be doing that. I believe they're both on HBO, too. Okay, and then also, there's one more. Oh, The Girl in the Spider's Web. We could do D- David Fincher's The Girl in the Dragon Tattoo before that comes out. Yeah, that's the fourth one in the series. Yeah. I think 
I think there was a trilogy, and then I don't know how directly. So I'm sure that there's probably a full story told in over the three books, and then it's just another story. Probably, I would assume. Who knows? Clear for you again in that. Thanks for listening. We are, we'll see you again for this show in like a couple weeks. Rewinds are fun. We should do more of them. We should do more of them. We will do more of them. Yeah. Oh, wine. Good. Buy it. I can't taste the difference between any wine, though. No. Well, good wine tastes better. Yeah. The original Dark Horse. You can almost taste the peels in here, though. A little bit. <laughs> oaky. A little oaky. That's how you know it's uh, cheap wine, but yeah, it's good. Good. I learned something about wine yesterday. Yeah? Red wine, they keep the skin on when they ferment it. White wine, they take off the skin. Hmm. The more you know. All right. See you next time. Take care. Yeah.